innate talents, reality or myth? Before establishing if it indeed exists, we have to understand what it exactly refers to. The concept of talent being innate, i.e. genetically within us, can be accepted to a certain extent. However, there are opinions and research to suggest that it may be down to the nurture rather than the nature. Pau et al. outlined five criteria to define innate talent, as he believed that one cannot be too vague when defining the term, nor can they be too precise due to its flexibility. 1. It does occur in genetics, so is innate to a certain extent. 2. It can show gradually, however those who are trained are able to recognise it before the talent is actually proven. 3. The minor implications early on can predict who is most likely to excel. 4. Not all are talented. And 5. The level of talent depends on the domain. In connection to the first property and the concept of genetics, the likes of Detterman believe that innate ability is what you are talking about when you are talking about talent. Likewise with Einsek, who claims that a strong genetic basis underlies all the variables associated with giftedness. Feldman insists that talents cannot be acquired, they must be possessed innately by prodigies, whilst Gardner's work from 1993 suggests that talent is a sign of precocious biopsychological potential in a particular domain. However, in terms of music and stepping away from sports, Sloboda, Davidson and Howe stress that musical achievements are more generic and that there are often no early signs of unusual expertise, thus highlighting the fifth property on how talent is specific to the domain. Similarly, interview studies of the childhood progress of accomplished artists, swimmers and mathematicians reported very few early signs of exceptional promise prior to deliberate parental encouragement being given. This means that there's enough evidence to imply that talent can be innate and individuals can be born into their abilities. However, there is equal amount of evidence to suggest otherwise, and those that work hard enough are able to accomplish that high level of performance, regardless of specific domain. When considering this debate, it's important to realise that other major factors can have an influence on the manner of talent and one's performance, for example, the inclusion of parents. Pau and Sloboda discovered that those young and successful musicians were able to openly admit that without strong parental encouragement and guidance to practice, they would never have done the amount of regular practicing needed to make good progress. There's also been enough evidence to suggest that other personal traits to the performer, like creativity and expressivity, are the main reasons and more impactful assets to the individual's performances. Of course, this does take a step outside the debate, but these traits can heavily affect the levels of performance and thus support the concept of talent being accomplished through nurture. A performer's ability to use their expressivity might happen as there is a lack of practice or teaching, but it is important to still remember that this may not be an innate trait either. I think, overall, it's important to understand that all five criteria observed by Howe et al are relevant to the argument in their own ways, depending which way you look at it. For example, criteria 1 and 4 both highlight how individual differences in some special abilities may have some generic influences and there is such thing as some attributes only being possessed by a minority set of individuals. These would both be relevant when viewing talent as something which is determined by individual differences. At the same time, it's also important to underline how the remaining three criteria are used by coaches and teachers to justify their selections amongst teams and groups. All in all, is talent innate or is it a myth? Is it nurtured or are talented people born with their abilities? It is plausible to agree and disagree with both.